Let's, let's Virginia. I wouldn't get too cocky, guys. I still killed you all. I mean, granted, I nearly died in the process, but I still killed you all. Right. We're fully armoured. Or I am. I'm a walking machine. Now, I thought I saw a camp or something over there. Is it a tent? There was something glistening in the uh, moonlight. So let's go have a look. Keep your eye out for any uh, dinghies, boats, caves, anything that remotely looks like it was set up by our men. Our teams, our men and women, are the ones more likely to have. Actually, I need some of these, don't I? Some of these rocks. Our men and women are the ones more likely to have. A uh, scuba set or rebreather on them. Or even a wetsuit. Although, I'll settle for getting wet as long as I can breathe. The wetsuit's uh, more convenient later down the line. Also, still got the GPS in that direction. See, I'm being very optimistic because the island's huge, isn't it? Could be all the way over there, all the way around there. Seriously? Go back to your cave. Okay. I know you can't now, but you should have done. You should have done indeed. Should have done. Okay. Am I in the wrong spot? No, it must have been rocks. I thought I saw tents over here. Oh, what's this? But it was these rocks. Oh, barrels and things. Tins. There's probably this light shining on the tins. Damn it. Seen man made objects in front of something tent height and thought it was a tent. Okay, fine. Well, we've got no option but to keep searching the coastline for now because all the lakes are frozen so if there is a rebreather we'll have to find it on the coast but there's a boat here no rebreather no scuba gear my backup is over there hiding as usual a couple of buckets of frozen water the, lo the, the locals have put their own effigies out. That's nice of them. At least they know where they like to operate. Right, where is... So that smoke was that camp we found when we had the golf buggy down here. So as long as I don't go inland, they shouldn't spot me. It looked like a building. And when I dro <laughs> drove up the hill, it was, uh, it was a tent. Well, technically it was a building. It was a very primitive one with a fabric roof. Are they following or are they just like having a dinner date or something? Oh, I think they're no, they're following. They're still having a dinner date, but yeah, ooh, high cliff face. So yeah, that's an idea, isn't it? That could be a base of operations out here on the coast. But we're getting, we are getting quite far from our main base. Quite far indeed. 
so I think we could probably do with having a few bases set up. See, that's got what? 90, uh, an angle there. If it's a right angle, roughly, on the other side, I mean, that's 90 degrees of safety there. What's this here? This is a canyon. I mean, it's not the easiest land to build on, though, is it? That's the trouble. But it would be quite defensible. I'm actually going to have a quick look at that while I'm here before I continue going around the coast. We we'll have to have somewhere we could set up. You know, I don't know, forward operating base, a main base. I mean, the one we found now is pretty damn good. See, there, you can't get anything coming from either side unless they come over the top. And if they come over the top and jump in, then you're buggered. But in terms of, like, security, it's pretty good. And if you look at it from this angle... Once you get up here, why am I carrying the axe around constantly? Nobody's attacking me, I don't need it out. If you, I mean, if you look at it from this angle, once you get up here, you don't know how far away their, ba their base is, their camp is, their village, whatever it is. But, you don't need a huge compound, do you? You just need a defensible location. So it's getting a bit silly now. We're just going to slide off the back. So yeah, and it's downhill at the back. That's yeah. You don't want it where they can come over the top and they've got a height advantage over here, though. That's not ideal. What about that side? Bit of a hill there. Wow, the wind's strong up here. Blowing out my eardrums. Try not to trip over the rocks and fall down into the canyon. That's quite an embarrassing way to die. I'm getting seriously knackered now and cold. Tell you what, where's it gone? I'm cold enough now that I need to warm up. Okay, that's this is quite defensible as well. Not as bad as the other one. I mean, this bit here especially. This is this this is great, this, in terms of... What the? What the hell is this? Is that one of those fancy new modern bloody folding... What? Gliders? Well, you, well, it's not powered, so you're not getting to land. Ooh. But I wonder if you could have bases on mountains and fly between them. Okay. I've got to know. What the... No, no, I'm not jumping off there. Can I... S Where does it go if I put it away? Do I just carry it? Do I throw it on the floor? It looks like it folds. Have I folded it up and put it in the backpack? Foldable glider. Okay. So this is where there was a there was a foldable glider over here. All I was doing was looking for a defensible location. I mean, this is pretty good. Got a massive cliff behind you. Nothing's coming from that direction. But you have got, what, 180 degrees of defense. So the benefits of the base we've got is that you've got virtually a right angle. You've got 90 degrees taken off, so you've only really got to defend the other 90. Makes setting up all the spiky bits a lot easier. Now that I'm up here, though, if there's any caves down there, I'm missing them. That's a bit of a canyon too. Oh, is this a cave? No, just some rocks. Ugh. Oh, I need to get my thing out, don't I? Where's my... 
I put it away because I've picked up a bloody folding whatever majiggy. Alright. Well, let's warm up again. Thank you. Right, let's not fall off the edge either. Like that. Uh, that is definitely going out to the sea. Let's go check. There's no boats down there either. Covered up in snow. I don't think anyone would have tried to uh, snorkel off the island. You know, you can't guarantee that you'd like fall asleep breathing the tank and even then you'd, you'd sink wouldn't you it's not like you got buoyancy and the cold of the ocean would kill you eventually but i can't check the lakes as i've said so i'm gonna have to check the ocean instead all right i'm thirsty probably what happens when you eat oysters for breakfast you end up okay i've got some raw meat that could do with being cooked Oh yeah, the the, uh, the squirrel. I mean, this is quite defensible, really, when you think about it. Most of those cliffs are that tall that you'd think anything jumping off them would kill themselves. So you'd only have to defend that way and that way. Are there any boats down here? Oh, these are lakes and... No boats down here. Right, let's have a zoom in. Yeah, there's quite a few canyons on this section of the island. I mean, this one's got a path. So this... This looks like it was being set up as one of the main ways of bringing supplies in. There's a path on that one too. Should I walk around the outside? It's cold, slippy, wet, probably dangerous. Do I really want to be going swimming? That's oh, not that far. He says. Okay. Right, we got any boats around here? Any canoes? What's that, a stick? A turtle shell. And a spear. Alrighty then. Somebody else tried to survive. But again, that's... Mutants can't come from that direction, can they? They can't swim round that rock. Can they swim round that rock? You would. They would be funneled funneled straight down there this could be a potentially good place to to be this is a potentially good place right let's go inland from this one because that third GPS for team 2 or team Bravo whatever you want to call them is straight ahead I hope anyone listening to my audio logs is uh, happy that uh, I've lived this long to tell you about the island. Because believe it or not, I'm happy I've lived this long. You know, no surprises there. I'm happy I'm not dead yet. Who'd have thought? There's no fresh water though, is there? Ah, yeah. I've just thought there's no fresh water. There's no streams. And this is probably a fresh water lake or puddle or pond over here, but it'll be frozen. Ooh. You'd have to go around collecting 
dozens and dozens of what? Well, anything you could put water in. Bottles, pans, anything. What's up, Rocket? Oh, I actually hit something. Sorry. Oh, there it is. And I'll take your head. Where do you want to go to? Oh, I'll let you live. Who's that? Calvin, I think. Oh, is it Calvin? Someone tells me it's not. Ah. Hello. Hi. Do you want to attack me? Ouch. Yeah, I don't want the uh, your friends to know. Oh, for the love of... Sorry. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> well. You're not as big or buxom as the girls from the other tribe, but you wear clothes in winter, which is sensible, let's be fair. Let's... Credits where credit's due. Your cannibal diet hasn't made you so crazy as to avoid clothes. Yeah. If there's fish in there, I ain't getting them in winter. That is a problem of where the, a potential base down here. That cliff as well. Actually, no. That cliff north of here on the other side of that lake where the shark is. There's a, there's a stream behind it, so there is potential running water all year round. That is the best base on this corner so far. So, I would say near that running water over there. There's a cave down here. Right, we're going to go look for... Oh, it's... It's you. What? What? Don't worry about him. I'm surprised you didn't stay with the base. Um, different tribe? Naked, wearing mud instead. Yeah. I know. Go away. Come on, let's just go find this third GPS. They'll either follow us or they won't. Trust me. Not scared of them as much as I am big huge blobs with 10 for 17, whatever the hell they were, vagina mouths. Yuck. Okay. Yeah. I am not digging the floor here with sticks when it's frozen. I do need the shovel. Hi. <laughs> Give me that. Ooh. You didn't enjoy that, did you? the same tribe. I doubt you are. These guys are like, God. Ah, ouch. Bite each other. Ouch. Have you finished, you two? Uh, that one looks like he's sat up watching. Oh, dear. Right, what? Right, so... This is a grave. Go away. Seriously? Fight amongst yourselves. Come on. Oh. Well, let that be a lesson to you.
Get up. Actually, did you drop anything? No, I can't find your body now. Where the hell am I going? Uh, that way. I want to go back to the coast. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Well, you were out of your misery really quick. Oh, uh, well. I mean, I am like a harbinger of death for these, for these guys and girls, so maybe they uh, aren't too fond of me. But to be fair, they attacked me first. Right, back to the coast, follow the coast round, keep looking for boats and things. Anything that might have... Uh, hopefully that stays fresh in my inventory longer because it's winter. Although, having said that, my body will be warm compared to the ground, so maybe it won't. Hey, bunny. And if you really want to be awkward about it, that's someone from uh, Team 2 or C. Bravo, whatever. So, yeah, they, they started it by killing us first. Or one of us first. Right. Are we back yet? Is this the way we came? Oh. No, this is another way. This seems familiar. Uh, potentially a pond with fish in it. Batteries. Seriously, the flies haven't died in the winter. How long have you been dead? Okay. I wonder if there's any boats down here. This looks like a... Not a military camp. This is like, yeah, sportswear. Okay, hopefully they were canoeers and not uh, mountain climbers. And there's boats down there at the shore. Have I got... I have got a radio in my inventory. I keep forgetting to leave one back at base. It'd be nice to have more than one radio. I'm not carrying around one of those. But I know there's plenty of them knocking about on the... Uh, oh, oh, there we go. What have we got? We've got canoes. They were canoers. Energy drinks. Yeah. Just grab what's useful at the minute. I can always come back and check them again for anything more useful at the bottom of the pile. Energy bars. More ration packs. And... Is that it? What have we got down here? A pillow that's frozen. Some cutlery. Oysters. Oh, why not? Yummy. Well, there's oysters all year round down at the uh, somebody's hand, somebody's head. Another watch. No, uh, no, no rebreather though. Seagulls. Thought that was some weird mutants then. Keep going round the coast. We need to find a rebreather. Check any boats on the coast and then check any caves on the coast. This could take a while. It's not exactly a small island, is it? I mean, look. It's took me a day to go from over there to over here virtually. It's nearly time to set a camp up. Because we can't really... Well, I mean, we can travel at night. We just can't see anything. So the whole point of exploring would be pointless. Because you can only see about five foot in front of yourself with a torch. So... 
Yeah. Getting tired though, so I'm thinking how many have I got now? Six and six. One of them. Glug. And one of them. Yummy. Right, let's go. Right. Also, time to get this out. Oh. No good having a belly full of food if you can't actually use the energy that you've eaten because you're too cold to use it. Yeah, there's lots of defensible positions down this end. Just no running water for winter. I would have to collect tons of water and even if I collected the turtle shells they freeze in winter I'd need a house with an indoors and a load of pans really so I could reheat the water to unfreeze the pans it's probably safer where we are which is inconvenient but that doesn't mean we couldn't set a base up here for the other three months of the year I mean, I'm recording this to myself because, well, Calvin never stays in touch. I know he's listening on the radio, but since he uh, became deaf or mute or whatever, I know, how's he listening on the radio if he's deaf? I don't know. Maybe he's got a transcript on. They do do those automatic subtitle things. Probably my own fault for talking so much, it probably doesn't keep up. So he only bit catches bits and pieces unless he's lip reading. Eh. Thought he would have stayed with the base though. But I know what that is, because I told him to collect um, wood instead of... No, I told him to collect fish and give fish to me, didn't I? Ah, yes. He's daft enough to keep trying to do that. Okay, there's a man on a spike. So this is probably not a safe place to put up a camp. Probably not a safe place for a camp. Okay, that's nice to know. Oh dear. Okay, there's a cave registering on the GPS map over there. Team C or D? Damn it. Well, I was only really in touch with Team Bravo, not Charlie or Delta. Okay. Oh, and well done. You caught up. What have you got? Berries. Thank you. Thank you. Gift. Gift. Thank you. Guano berries. Guano, guano. No, not guano. That's poop. Not poop berries. Uh, guano berries. Gano berries. Okay. Well, there's another cave here. I'm actually wondering whether. Is there anything over there? I could do with binoculars, to be honest. Anybody, uh, anybody bring binoculars? Dead fish. Nice. So somebody's been in this cave. Oh yeah. Alright, let's go in the cave. It might even be safer than out here considering there are people on spikes.
Okay. Where are the bats? Where are the bats? That looks like one of our laptops that we had on the helicopter. What's that? Another air tank. Okay, I've got too many air tanks. Alright. Some of these ropes. Ammo. That's going to have to be plugged into my PDA, phone, whatever you want to call it, more ammo, what have you got, Puff Corp outbid Sahara Therapeutics for Remote Island, okay, we'll give that a read in a second, let me switch to my torch, All right, so Team Charlie managed to get in here, did they? They've actually got a laptop with enough power, but it's still going. Just make sure we're safe where we are. Can't guarantee it, but we'll see. Dreams and the unconscious. Site map. Might have some data. Let's have a look though. What was on that note? Oh. Right. Oh. Let's have a quick look through here. Really? I can't, I can't get the torchlight on it. Oh, there we go. In an intense and closely watched auction that went down to the wire, pharmaceutical giant Puffcorp Puff Corp has successfully outbid its rival Sahara, Sahara Therapeutics for exclusive. This is going to be better to read outside. Yeah. The future of anti aging research. Ethical concern, responds, location of island still unknown. Yeah, read that later. Alright, we gotta. What's. What's walking around? What can I hear walking around? That's creepy. Virginia outside in the snow, echoing in here. New location discovered. Entertainment bunker. Okay. Where's that? I'll have to find out when it connects to the GPS outside. Right. Is there anybody through here that I can hear walking and it's creeping me out? Come on, bat, scare the cack out of me. It's your, it's your job. <laughs> like I can't catch the bats and eat them. Anything? There you There you are. Oh, stewards. So where does this particular cave go to. Are they fingers and toes? Lovely. Hanging off a jar. Alright, and there's cave lamps in here. That's not creepy in the slightest, he says, having set up a load at his own base. 
but I'm a bit worried when uh, the locals start doing it. What's this? Raw meat and raw meat. Oh my god, that's raw meat of an animal. What is all this? Are these skeletons off. Uh... Okay, I'm not convinced that raw meat is something I should have in here. Oh, damn it. Well, it looks identical to the deer meat, so let's just hope it is. And the squirrel meat. What else? Come on. Right, more water coming in. Sorcerers. Is that a... Is that a rubber ring from a bloody beach party? Not sure that's much use to me. <sighs> How deep this water? You know, there's a shack living on the other side of this thing. What are you doing here and what have you got? Anything? Well, you've not got any notes because it would have been destroyed by the water. Just catch myself then and it's my own shadow. What's that? Is that a paddle? Can I not have the paddle? Can I not build a boat? Let me build a boat. <laughs> I want to build a boat. Another paddle in the ceiling. Ah. Yeah, there were people walking around in here. The weird blind ones. Okay, where are you? From here, as long as I can see you, I can kill you quite easily. Oh, one of you too. Get him in the legs, get him in the legs. In the legs. Legs! Ow! Ow! Ugh. You with the fingers. Is that a hand on your head this time? Okay. Am I out of armor again? That's better than nothing. I know I could burn them, I suppose, and make some more armor, but I'm not that desperate just yet. Here's a question, how many bones have I got? 16. Let's do it now then. One, and two. Right. I've got my bone armor on again. Good job I keep finding batteries that haven't gone off. Because they have a lifespan, don't they? Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. So what's through here? All right, so there's a torch here, which is the way out that way. All right, I'm actually getting a little worried about remembering where I'm going, so... Let's... Oh! Fish! Today's fish is trout a la Enjoy your meal. Fish! Okay. Well, let's just put one there. And I don't want it falling over, so... Then I want one of these. Yep. And the way in is that way, isn't it? That's the way I came. So... 
Okay, these... You put the skull facing the way... Facing towards you, don't you? So let's put it on there. Right, so that's the way out. That The way he's looking is the way out. Which is that way. Okay. So let's have a look what's down here. Where are you? I can hear you. What the hell? Lovely. People fused to the... Okay. That's the most normal looking human woman I've seen in a while. <laughs> Legs! Get his legs! Get his legs! Get his legs! Sorry. Wait, I'm hitting you. Where the hell's he gone? There he is. Okay, do I have any cooked meat? I do not. Now is probably a good time to cook some then. That's probably a good time to get a fire going. Eight, four, five, six. So I can cook six things at a time. So if I cook the fish. And I've still got it. I could always try and put the cooked fish. Because it doesn't say that it has to be fresh fish, does it? So if I can keep hold of it until I get outside, I can make myself, what was it, Kelvin special. Okay, and... A rough... Did I burn? No! Damn it, I didn't mean to eat it, I meant to... Never mind. Well, I burnt the fish. And I burnt the meat. Because I threw so many things on there. Never mind. Eat the burnt stuff then. Uh. This is what happens when you try and do stuff in the dark. You can't see what you're doing. And it's making me thirsty because of course it is and my cooking pot's empty so we're on busy drinks. Yay. Well, that'll have to do for now, he says. Right, big axe is out again. I'm going to hit you with it if you come near me. They've been dead a while. Cash and cash. Tinned food. Or cat food. Not seen any cats yet though. Despite all the cat food I've seen. Alright, where are you? There he is. Can I do this quickly? Okay. Oh, there's a... two of them. There's two of them. Ouch. Ouch. Legs. Get his legs! Okay. Okay. Why not? There you go. And one from you as well.
you're the normal human woman. The reason I say that is because you're wearing normal clothes. Alright, let's throw you down there. That was a terrible aim. Let's light that on fire again. Let's see if I can get either of you on there. And replace my... Come on. Oh yeah, got you burning. What about you? Go on. Throw some of them on. Will that keep it going long enough? Right, you're burning as well now. Come on. Hey. And I picked up some rope. Yeah, I picked up a bit of rope, so let's make another bone armor. And another one. Let's see how many bones have I got. actually filled up on bones again already. That's fine. How many? You know what? How many rocks have we still got? Well, I'll tell you what, let's make one more. Yep. Just a couple more bones. There we go. Right. Oh, and uh, let's put creepy armor on, since I might be coming up against two or three of them at a time. Oh, I've got a full set of creepy again. That's nice. Think about it. Didn't I go past you on the way in? Oh, are you a different woman? Or are you a different person hanging from the ceiling? Which way am I going now? Okay, no, don't remember these on the way in. Actually, I do remember those on the way in. I'm an idiot. Uh, see, this is the reason why you leave yourself trails and breadcrumbs. So I went past some skeletons, but they were the other way, so these were new skeletons, were they? And uh, I'm hungry. And I'm thirsty and I'm tired. Of course I am. Have an energy bar. This is because I'm exploring through the night. Yeah, it's five o'clock in the morning. This is. I've explored through the night because, well, it's a cave and it's a bit dangerous. All right, are there more people. All right, more of those. Okay. Where have you gone? Oh, you there. Get down. Okay. And I don't need the uh, meds. That's good. Can I hear another radio? I can hear humanoid music. What's on this side? Okay, this is a creeper. Alright, so there's two ways out here. Alright, so we, uh, let's make another 
skull lamp pointing that way. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Also, how many of these can I have? I'm down to, I'm down to two more. Is that good or bad? go that way out when we come back. Is, is this a good place to get a little sleep? I might need to get a little sleep. I'm not sure it's sensible camping in the caves, but that door's locked. Everything up to this point has been killed behind me. Might just have to risk it. For the biscuit. Yeah, let's hope I don't end up like you two. 